Hi, I'm Chris Rogers, president of Inspector Bots, and this is the PTM or Pan Tilt Mini Bot. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to set up and use the Pan Tilt Mini Bot for inspections. The Pan Tilt Mini Bot is a remote control multi purpose inspection platform. It can be used in a variety of industrial inspection applications, including pipe inspection, hazardous environments, and crawl spaces. It features a high definition video camera atop a pan tilt mechanism aboard an all aluminum four wheel drive crawler. One of the first steps is to read the operator's manual. Now I've included a CD ROM with the kit, or you can email me and I'll send you a PDF version. It's a good idea to practice controlling the bot before your first inspection. One of the first things you want to do is make sure all the batteries are fully charged and installed properly in the system. The bot itself has two batteries. The GoPro camera has its own battery. OCU Peli case has a battery. And finally, there are four double A's in the RC radio. To charge the two LiPo batteries, first plug in the included LiPo charger to AC power. You should see three green LEDs showing that it's working. Then take the LiPo balancing plug on the battery and plug it into the right side of the LiPo charger. You'll see the LEDs turn red. The battery is fully charged when all three LEDs turn green. To charge the batteries on the GoPro, simply connect it to your computer with this USB cord. You'll see the LED lights turn on, indicating that the battery is charging. Before applying any power to the BOD or the OCU, you first want to install the antenna. You can do so by simply screwing it onto the back of the BOD or onto the top of the OCU. This is the operator's control unit or OCU. If you open it up, you can see inside we have a display, a receiver for the video, on off switch and a battery. To install the antenna on the OCU, you simply screw it into the top. There's an SMA connector here. To charge the battery inside the OCU, simply take the included AC charger and plug it into the port on the side of the OCU. Next, plug the charger into AC current. Whenever I'm working on the bot, I like to place it on top of a couple thick books so that the wheels freely spin. To install the LiPo batteries inside the bot, you simply have to remove these deck screws. You can do so with the included 564 inch hex key. Or if you're smart, you can put in a driver tip in your screw gun. It quickly removes these three millimeter screws. Now you can simply lift off the deck and I store it between the wheels and the chassis. Inside you will find two XT60 connectors, these yellow guys. And one is for the bot side, one is for the video side. So you simply plug in your battery and secure it to the Velcro tape doesn't matter which battery you use. Install the deck to the chassis with the deck screws. The first step in startup is to turn on the radio. Next, install the video out cable to the GoPro by plugging it into the side and installing it to the GoPro bracket. You want to secure it hand tight so that the camera is upright. Place the robot on your stack of books and power up the GoPro by holding down the power button until it starts. 
confirm that you have a fully charged battery by looking at the indicator in the display. Next, power up the bot and the camera by flipping these two toggle switches. You'll notice the two LEDs turn on. Next, turn on the OCU. Notice that the video receiver will turn on as well as the monitor. Next, test the bot by moving the right joystick forward and back. Left and right. And you'll notice the wheels respond to your command. Then using the left joystick on the radio, move it left and right, up and down, and confirm that the pan tilt mechanism works. Confirm that the video system is working by moving the pan tilt mechanism and watching that the video image in the display corresponds to your movements. Flip the top left toggle switch on the radio and you'll notice that the LED lights turn on and off. Check your system the night before an inspection. Make sure all the batteries are fully charged and you're ready to go. Place the bot on the ground and confirm that all the functions work. The default mode on the GoPro is set to 1080 high definition video. To start recording, simply press the shutter release button. A red LED will flash, indicating that you are recording. To end the recording, simply press the shutter release. You can buy a remote control for this camera, or you can use the GoPro app, which is a free download. capture stills, you can set it to the next mode, which is stills, single shot, and use the remote. Or if you advance it to the next mode, you can set up a time-lapse sequence. Here I've preset the sequence to shoot every five seconds. You can, of course, adjust many different parameters in the GoPro. Here you can see the operator setting up the minibot for a crawl space inspection. The operator is tying on parachute cord to the handle on the rear of the minibot. This is used for a safety retrieval line or to lower the bot into the hole. He tests the LED lights, the pan tilt mechanism, and the live video feed. He starts the recording with the GoPro. The bot is lowered into the hole and lands inside the crawl space. This is a view of the mini bot inside the crawl space. It really feels like you're inside the crawl space. This is the video from the GoPro. Notice the amazing quality of the high definition video. You can even read the writing on the PVC pipes. It truly is an immersive experience. Here the operator is using the pan tilt mechanism to inspect the crawl space. It looks like the old cast iron pipes were broken and left in place. The operator removes the bot from the crawl space. Turn off the GoPro camera by holding down the front power button. You'll see a series of five flashes. Turn off the bot and the camera. Remove the antenna from the bot and the OCU 
for transport and storage. Turn off the OCU. To turn off the RC radio, simply hold down the power button for five seconds. Remove the GoPro camera from its mount. Remove the video out cable and download the media from here. Remove the deck screws to remove the batteries for recharging and storage. Here's a tech tip. If you're going to be using your inspection vehicle within one week, it's okay to leave the batteries installed. But if it's going to be stored for more than one week, I would take the batteries out. It's recommended that you store the LiPo batteries between 80 and 90% of a full charge. So that turns out to be between 3.6 and 3.8 volts per cell. To download the videos and stills from the GoPro, simply connect it to your computer using this mini USB cable and power the camera on. You can use any image editing or video editing software that you prefer. Then you can visualize your images, select the ones that you want, save them to your computer, and include them in your reports. There are several different ways to get your images and videos into your computer. Simply use the method that works best for you. This thing is amazing. It's so easy to use and intuitive to operate. Thanks again for choosing InspectorBots and have fun with your robotic inspections.